So let's solve question 12c, which is under um, solving exponential or sketching exponential and log. So I've got two questions here. So I'll start with the first one, which is um, we sketch f of x to be equal to 4 minus 1 over 3x. Now, exponential, they have got what we call horizontal asymptote. And the domain for exponential is from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. But the range is restricted. And this is true for uh, logarithmic. So under log, we have what we call the vertical asymptote on log. Then we also have what we call the range now is from negative infinity to positive infinity, but the domain is restricted. That is now under log. But under exponential, we have got horizontal asymptote, and the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So let me give you the, the parent graph of exponential. If I have f of x to be equal to 2 raised to the power x, so anything raised to the power x is an exponential. Okay? The natural log and log itself, these are what we call logarithmic functions. So in this case, the first thing is you need to identify the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is the number without exponential. In this case, it is plus 0. There is no number. So in this case, horizontal asymptote is 0. What do I mean a number? This number can be in front or, or after the exponential. So like in this case, this is exponential. Okay. So my horizontal asymptote is this one, a number without exponential. That is 4 in that case. So I want just to show you the parent graph in that case. Okay. So now what we're going to do is um, here I'm going to equate the power equal to two things. You get the power equal to two things. So I'll say x will be equal to 0 and x will be equal to 1. When you do this, and then you have to put the coordinate. So I'll have x and y. Where there's x, if I put 0, it will be 2 to the power 0. Any number to the power 0, this is going to be 2 to the power 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. If I put 1, it's going to be 2 raised to the power 2. N number to the power 1 is the number itself. So if x is 1, y is going to be 2. Now I can have my sketch. Okay, I want to show you the parent graph first. What I have here is I'm going to have, I have in x 1 and 0. Then here I've got 2 and I have got 1 and 2. So I'll put 1 here, I'll put 2. The horizontal asymptote is at 0. So this line. So 0, 1 in x0, in y1 is there. Then 1, 2 is there. So it should be running away from the asymptote. From here, starting from the asymptote. Running away and then going like that. Let me draw it again. It has to be straight like that. Okay, like that. So that is my graph of f of x is equal to 2 raised to the power x. Okay? So that is the parent graph of exponential. Now let's have the sketch of um, the question which have been given here. The question which have been given here is if you want you can pause the video try it out and then continue with it so first I have to identify the horizontal asymptote a number which doesn't have exponential is 4 now in that case it's positive so I'll put 4 equate the the, the the power equal to two things equate it equal to 0 again negative x is equal to 1 so for x x will be equal to 0 for this one if I divide both sides by negative x will be equal to negative 1 now get your coordinates. I have x, y. So if x is 0 and if x is 1, what will be my answer? 
So I have 4 minus 1 over 3 raised to the power 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1, so it will be one, 4 minus 1, which is 3. So in that case, I'm going to have 3. So I have 0, what? 3. Next, I have to plug in negative 1. So it will be 4 minus 1 over 3 negative where there's x we put negative 1 negative and negative will give us positive n number to the power 1 is the number itself so i have 1 over 3 so the common denominator is 4 here i have 1 1 into 4 is 4 okay 1 into 4 is 4 4 times oh 4 times 4 is 16 minus then here, oh, I'm supposed to get 3. The common number should be 3, not 4. So I'll say 1 into 3 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 3 into 3, 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So I'll have 11 over 3. 11 over 3, I know that is approximately, because if we have 12, it's going to be 4, meaning that is 3.5, somewhere there. So I'll just put 11 over 3, like that. Now that I have two coordinates, sometimes you might be asking yourself, why are we equating the power equal to two things? We're equating the power to 0 and 1, because we know that any number to the power 0 is 1, any number to the power 1 is the number itself. So we're not going to have confusion there. Okay? So the first graph I'm going to say, I'll have this. And then I'm going to have my 0 here. So in x, I'll, I have first to have my vertical asymptote, my, my horizontal asymptote, sorry, which is at 4. Now, the other coordinate which I have, I'll put a line there. I have got him. In y, I've got 3, which I can put it there. Okay? And 3 should be, I need to put 3 here. Then again, that other point is going to be 11 over 3. Okay? 11 over 3 is greater than 3. That's why I'm going to put it here. The next thing I'm going to do is I need to go to x. In x, I've got just negative 1. Okay? I have negative 1. So I'll start. The first coordinate is 0, 3. 0, 3 in x, 0. In y, 3. It is at that point. Next, I'm going to have negative 1 over 3, 11 over 3, which is here. Now, we can clearly see that learning away from the asymptote, learning away from the asymptote, touching these two. Like that. That would be my graph of f of x is equal to 4 minus 1 over 3 raised to the power negative 1. There is negative there, negative x. Okay, so that's my graph. Now, I can clearly see that I said the domain of uh, exponential is always from negative infinity to positive infinity. We can see that the graph, we don't know where it's starting from and we don't know where it's going to end. It just keep on going. But the range is restricted. You can only find the range when you when you find the value. So in this case, we we'll have in this case we we'll have the range is going is starting from negative four not included all the way to negative infinity. We know that it's starting from y four not included all the way going down. Okay, that's the range. If they ask you to find the range, but in this case, the question was sketch the graph. That's all. Now we are done with exponential. Let's talk a bit of um, log. How to sketch logs. Now, here what we're going to do is, when you've got a log, in this case, I'm going to explain only this one, which is natural log. But I'm going to upload another video. You can just check out another video where I explained about sketching logarithmic functions in general. So that's where now I mentioned, I talked about this. Maybe log x plus this. Yeah, so for, for this one, I'm going just to explain this one direct. Now, when you are talking about natural log, natural log is in base E. 
So when you are sketching log, you have to equate what is inside here equal to three things. The first of, first of the uh, thing we have to equate this equal to zero. The next thing you have to equate what is in the brackets equal to one and also equal to the base. So the base of natural log is base E. Then solve for X. If I solve for X, X will be equal to, if I shift two to the other side, it will be negative two. Then here it will be X is equal to, if I shift two to the other side, it's going to be one minus two here. If I shift this to the other side, it's going to be one minus two. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. If I shift that other one, it's going to be e minus 2. Okay? Now, the one you equate equal to 0 is your vertical asymptote. So that's my vertical asymptote. In this case, my vertical asymptote is equal to negative 2. Okay? Then, I need to use these coordinates x y so when x is negative 1 and when x is e minus 2 what will be the value of y so I'll start negative 2 plus natural log of x now in this case x is negative 1 plus 2 so I'll say negative 2 plus natural log of 1 so natural log of 1 the address of any base is 0 so I have 2 plus 0 so I have 2 so here I need to have what the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, where there is x, I put what e minus 2. So I'll say negative 2 plus natural log of where there is x, we put e minus 2, then e plus 2. So negative and positive, they will give us 0. I'll just have this natural log of e. Natural log of e, since this natural log is in base e, so log or natural log of the base itself is 1. So this will give me 1. So I have this plus 1, which is going to give me neg 1. Okay? And then I know that here I'm going to put what? Neg 1. Now one thing we have to get to, to know is that E is approximately uh, 2 point something. Okay? So natural log, you're not supposed to know the exact value of E, okay? But let me just give you, E, when I'm talking about E, it's approximately 2.718. Now, just know that it's approximately 2.7. Okay, so 2.7 is greater than is greater than uh, 2, meaning that the answer e minus 2 is going to be to the positive side. What do I mean? E is approximately 2.7. So 2.7 minus 2 is going to be 0 0.718, like that. So we know that it's going to be to the positive side. So what I'm going to do is, if I have my xy plane here, the first thing I have to do is, to put my vertical asymptote. My vertical asymptote is at negative 2. Okay? My vertical asymptote is at negative 2. So I'll put negative 2 here and put a line. Okay? The next thing I'm going to have in X, I have got negative 1, which I can put it here. Then I've got E minus 2, which is going to be there. So now the next thing I have to do here is the Y values. I have got negative 1 and also negative 2. So I'll put neg 1 here. I'll put neg 2 here. Okay. Now I can have my coordinate. Negative 1 comma negative 2. Negative 1 is here. Negative 2 is there. Then negative uh, negative e minus two comma one, which is here. So the graph has to be starting from learning away from the asymptote, going like that. Or if I want to make this graph neat, what I'm going to do is I'll shift it so that it should be on top, like that. 
so that I extend this like that. So learning away from the asymptote, touching this line, this point, again it goes, let me do it, it goes like that. So this is my graph of f of x is equal to negative 2, okay, plus log um, x plus 2, like that. So that is it for question 12c.